Hi there and welcome back to Aliens vs Predator 2. Since we finished the marine campaign in the last video, video, we're gonna start with the Predator campaign now. And normal is okay. That's a difficulty mode for me and Hunt is the first one. Launch. Nineteen years before the incident. Somewhere. Life signs are weak, but he's alive. We need a medevac now. overdue for your medication it slows the mind I wish to be effective pain won't make you effective general Rykov I picked it up again definitely some sort of thermal anomaly meteor no sir it's slowing down sir it's changing course Zeta region we have remote monitors there good I want visuals Yvonne, call the containment teams. Yes, sir. Okay, we are three kilometers south of the, the forward observation pods. I'm not reading anything now. Well, there was definitely something here very recently. Blake, Fisher, check out that old observation post. Okay. So, Wayland Yutani debriefing the incident appendix M, Rikos, journal. I have seen enough. The Zeta side is not pilot technology. The scientists have dated the artifacts found here. They are young, hundreds of years old at most. I recognize the carvings. It is my enemy. Returned. I should have anticipated as much. This land is too rich with trophies. It is perfect for their kind. Still, I will not fail this time. Although the scientists do not uh, understand the full technology they have already begun to unravel the strange gear given time we will find their weakness given time okay so we are a predator and we have to hunt down the human prey and we do that invisible what do we have weapon wise we have our wrist blades wolverine style and we have some sort of spear cannon And we have several vision modes that would uh, help us to track humans, that would help us to track aliens, that would help us to track technology, it's useful against synths, and that is just a normal view. So, well, what do we do? We go down here, oh. and we have to duck jump a lot, I hate that. With your cloaking field generator you can cloak, as long as you have enough energy the bar on the right of your heart. Activating cloaking costs a moderate amount of energy, leaving it on costs little energy. I know. Damn, I really hate jumping in and shooters. I mean, come on, it's a shooter for crying out loud. Not a jump and run. This is where we came from. So I guess we have to 
walk into this direction here. Ta-da. With your mask you get four vision modes. The second of these thermal vision tracks humans. To use tracking weapons against humans, the plasma caster and disc, you must use the thermal vision mode. Change modes with the next vision mode key. Yeah, that's this one here. What the hell's going on? We just lost contact with group two. I don't know. All squads proceed to rendezvous point. <laughs> You can collect trophies by decapitating your enemies. If you do this with the spear gun, you must collect the head before receiving credit for the trophy. So remember where the head dropped, because you need to get your arrow back, your spear back. The spear gun is a perfect sniper weapon. It has tremendous range and power, and if you can fire it without, and you can fire it without cancelling uh, the cloaking thingy. By first gathering their strength, predators can leap nearly 20 feet into the air. Yeah. That's the, uh, the duck jump. Crouch to gather your strength and then press the jump key. After crouch jump you'll need to recover your strength for a few seconds before crouch jumping again. I know, I know, I know. It's a bitch actually. So we came from that. What's up here? That would be interesting. We could walk that way. The problem with those predator levels is you can get lost easily. Hold on for a second. Uh, well, bless me. Alright, moving on. I don't think... Wait, what's that? That's a scientist. Uh, truth be told, I don't have to kill a scientist. I mean, okay, the predator, I don't know, the scientist is no threat. If I can help it, I will leave them in peace. And you see that little red and blue bar? I don't know, it, I guess it indicates how much ammo you have. I can't read it though. I just know that you have to recover your spears if you want to use them again. The wrist blades are a decent close combat weapon to increase the power hold down the alt fire until your blades are drawn back off screen. Okay. So the point is if we shoot off those guys heads we have to do it in a way that we are able to collect their um, heads and get our spears back. Oh, I didn't hit you. How could that shot miss? I mean, like, really. The head is here. Thanks. What is that? A scientist. What's the, what? What's that? What was I doing? Was I activating the self-destruction sequence? I surely hope not. Uh, Boo! No, I'm not. I'm not fighting you. There is no honor in killing you. Oh yeah. You get your energy back with that... No, that was cloaking. With that little device here. Draws energy from the hyperspace, I guess. And you can get healed with that device. Takes away a lot of energy though. But since we can always... Recharge and then cloak. I think that's very convenient. You have an unlimited amount of energy and therefore an unlimited amount of healing. 
Um, which way do we go? Hey, that's a brother. Um, how do I get to you? Maybe I have to duck jump. Use the spear to dismember your enemies. Fire swings the spear horizontally, alt fire swings the spear vertically. That's a very decent melee weapon. With the medicomp you can heal yourself. Press the medicomp key to heal. Using it requires half your maximum energy. If you have insufficient energy you cannot use the medicomp. I know, but you can always recharge. Ain't that great? Wait a second. No, oh, that's where we came from, that's cool. Interesting, which way? So we came from that. We could go to that spot. It's on the other side. Oh. Which way then? Walking or swimming in water will short circuit your cloaking, deactivating it. I know, it sucks. So try not. Hey! Humans. Well, if we wanted to kill them... We could do it from up here. But, um... I'm not invisible, but that doesn't save you if I approach you from behind. Oh, I got the head. Very nice. Um, sorry, that didn't work, did it? Apparently not. So, is that the way where we came from? Or is that the way? I have no idea. Oh, maybe we should get energy back and close again. Oh, that was very clever. Yeah, I think that's a new area. Eh, uh, sorry. Okay. That's a dead end, apparently. Is there some... Oh no, apparently I have uh, enough oxygen. Maybe it's Moment. in the suit. Movement? Where? Here. Hey! 
Exactly. Did I get all of your heads? Yeah. I did. Gotta be careful, that's acid here. If you step into it, it hurts. So don't do it. Oh. Hey, what did you do? I wanted to kill that one. Oh, boy. Oh, he has a disc in his hand. You can throw the disc directly at your enemy or use the proper vision mode to lock the disc onto a target. At any time during the disc's flight, you can record the disc using the fetch disc key, default F. After the disc hits anything, it will try to return to you. If you cannot see the disc, you can still fetch it for a larger energy cost. Yay! Let's try that. When was the last time that we saved? Hey, is that a human? Yes. See? Now it's locked on. And now the disc is gone. Let's fetch it. What am I doing? Excuse me? Fuck you. What was that? What is T? Charge a meter. What does that do? I have no idea. First of all, get the energy back. Then heal up. Get your energy back. Save and use what's that? Charge a meter. Oh, I think that is the same thing like the hacking uh, for the marine. Now I get it. Okay. I was confused. So, this is how Eisenberg's first expedition ended. I'm surprised he came back. You know, the rest didn't. Sole survivor. So I heard. You hear about the rescue? Rumor is it didn't go well. Bucks got to the APC. I guess most of the rescue team got seriously burned. The dock seems fine enough. Seems so, yeah. Two more heads for us. that October the 15th 2221 we have arrived from now on I refer to earth dated notion for these logs although days here run short while nights feel interminable the air is thin just walking around causes our people to strain we have set up base camp in the broken land south of the hive the synthetics have cleared the foliage and are currently adding a minefield and sentry gun emplacements as I argued so often to the funding committee, human ingenuity conquers all. Really? What do we have here? Another note? November the 7th, 2221. The hive appears dormant. 
The remote rover has found xenomorph traces, but no active specimens. The synths have begun explorations. Many signs of the carrier species. We call them pilots. Unexplained structures jut from the earth and mysterious shafts vanish underground, all exhibiting the distinctive architecture of the ship from LV-426. Although these archaeological remnants come as little surprise, we followed the ship's flight telemetry here. After all, I find it all a bit unnerving. And I wish we had some sort of light source, but we can always use that. Um, which mode? November the 15th, 2221. The synths have caught glimpses of aliens smaller than those observed on LV-426. I have named them runners. They stray great distances from the hive, especially at night. We are careful to return to the observation posts as a precaution, but they appear uninterested in us. They seem to be looking for something. The hive itself remains dormant. I believe this dormancy may be tied to the severe climatic conditions. Our initial analysis of the flora seems to corroborate, it, corroborate this theory. But what are they waiting for? Cooler temperatures? Increased humidity? Or is it something else? I don't know, I guess asking them won't work. Here's another note. November the 27th, 2221. Our remote probes show that runner activity is linked to increased pheromone discharge from the hive walls along with extremely high frequency sound waves. Perhaps the covered cranium of the alien operates as a resonance chamber, boosting, receiving and transmitting the ultrasonic communications. If so, the runners must stay close to the hive to maintain contact. With study one might learn to duplicate their language, perhaps even replace their orders with some of my own. An entertaining theory at last. Okay, so there is a door. What's that? January the 1st, 22, Happy New Year, the hive is awake. We are stranded. Last night our parameter defenses were interrupted by the most severe storm we've seen thus far. It was as if they knew, for within minutes their drones swept through our encampment, slaughtering everyone in their path and crippling our dropship. My colour is gone, for what it's worth he was brave at the end. Brave and dead. Great. Okay, there are more notes here. January 4th, 2222. We're trying to adjust. It's hard. 17 of us left, hold up in inside observation post 2. If we stretch our rations, particularly the water, the supplies should last 4 or 5 days. By then we'll have to break for up 3. To what? The hive. I estimate its remaining stores will buy us about a week. Up 4 should hold us for an additional month. That means 2 months without food before the next supply ship is due. If we can reach all of the observation posts, we might survive. Oh, that's not, you know, too bright of a prospect. January the 5th, 22-22. We had to give up on OP3 today. Adam slipped and Green stopped to help her. We all feel guilty, but what could we have done except die with them? Besides, although no one has said it, there is now more food for the rest of us. I've told them that if we can hold out 8 weeks, we'll probably be saved. It is a lie, but at least it keeps it together. The last thing we need is to start turning on each other. We'll try for up three again tomorrow. Um, okay. How would you have survived without the aliens attacking? Was all that food stored in the in the dropship? It's okay. Let's get out again. Charge. And close. And save. With your energy sift, you can quickly recharge your energy levels. I know. 
I just did it. Stay lively. More hostiles possible. Clear. I'm seeing all clear. Bravo team reporting targets down. Two contained. Tell the doctor the EMPs are a success. Load cargo for immediate evacuation. Please confirm number of contained specimens. Two confirmed. Request shift to status green. Negative, soldier. Status is still red. We have no positive head count. Stay sharp. Commit search. Roger. Okay, boys. Search by twos. Bravo team, abort that order. Pull back immediately. Surprise has been lost. You got that? Roger. Let's go. Pull back my squads to the APC. Move it. Are they captured two? Two predators? Ah, uh, okay. I, I think it's only fair that the predators get a taste of their own medicine. But since we're supposed to play a predator, let's see whether we can change that. Okay. Where to now? Uh huh. See those? Ah! Hey, I aim for your head. Where's your head? He's uh, making a run for it. <laughs> That's better. You better run, my friend. Interesting. Who wins? The humans or the aliens? Well, it looks like the humans won. Right, so no more invisibility for us, but that's not too bad, because I don't see any humans anymore. But I don't like that sound.
See? That's an alien. But we killed it. It was a big one. Okay, they got two. Okay, but we will deal with that situation in the next video. So, thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Bye.